A small token of example is going to be given by our Toastmaster Achana today with our speech. So let me welcome Toastmaster Achana, but before that, let me welcome TM Rajiv, her evaluator, to tell us her objectives of the speech. Over to Toastmaster Rajiv. Yeah, I hope I am audible and visible. Yes, yes, Mr. Toastmaster Rajiv. Yeah. Good morning, fellow Toastmaster and dear guest. So today, a uh, speaker will uh, provide a speech about innovation planning, uh, level four and speech number two. Now, if I talk about the purpose of the speech, the purpose of the project is for the member to practice developing a plan, building a plan and fulfilling the plan with the help of our team and the purpose of the speech is for the member to share some aspect of his or her experience managing a project on that note i will uh, uh, ask the timer please ensure the time for the speech is to five to seven minutes and i wish best of luck to the speaker over to you toastmaster of the day thank you thank you evaluator so as told the opinions formed, the understandings done, and the lessons learned by Toastmaster Archana are going to be presented in the form of a speech. So let me welcome Toastmaster Archana to give her speech. Over to Toastmaster Archana. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day, Rama Rao, sir. Am I audible? Yes, you are audible and visible. Please go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Once a frog asked two birds to take him south with them. At first, the birds resisted. They could not guess how it can be done. Finally, the frog suggested the two birds to hold a stick in their beak and that he would hold on with it like this. So, off likely the three some went flying south over the countryside. It became a beautiful scenery in the sky. People looked up and expressed great admi admiration at this demonstration of creative teamwork. Someone said, it's wonderful. Who has such, a, such clever among these three to discover such a good way to travel? The frog opened his mouth and said, it was I and then fall into the ground. So, the lesson here is, there is no I in a team. And the first most important thing in any project is its team. Good morning, Toastmasters and honored guests. How many of you know the full form of the word team? It means together everyone can achieve more. We can always do things better with a good team than alone. Alone, if I am just a drop, together we are an ocean. Before speaking about my project, let me first tell you a little about me. I am the kind of person who always does things alone. I do not know how to work in a team. But Toastmasters makes everything possible. In recent times, the only project I did having a team, a great team, is Project Newsletter. I shared the newsletter in the comment box also. Uh, guest can check it. Uh, let me now share my experiences from it. You all might have read our recently published Sikandrabad Toastmasters magazine or STM newsletter. Getting that published in time was one of our successful projects done recently. Can anyone say what is the first step of any project? The first step it is to build an effective team. We were four members in a group. Firstly, our division director, Hari Priya. She guided all of us about the rules of Toastmasters and took up the planning part of the project, the planning part of the project newsletter. Then our beloved president, Raji, he collected all write-ups from everyone, photos from everybody. He took the responsibility of following up with them 
or with all the members of toastmasters to, to submit their articles for the newsletter along with their pictures again and again with lots lots of patience and team spirit third the third member of our team niharika pal the toastmaster who made us all laugh until our bellies hurt in our humorous speech competition and made us all proud by winning the first runner up she was chosen to design the newsletter because she had enough designing experience which was very beautifully visible in our recently published newsletter you can check that link in the comment box and look at the newsletter also and i was selected as editor of that as i had some experience in having many journals published to my credit more than 10 in international uh, journals so what is the first step towards a successful project it is building an effective team the second step is project planning benjamin franklin said if we do not plan we are preparing ourselves to fail so planning here was about the tasks needed to be done by each member individually and also all of them together to complete the project on time we first had some initial plans and then many zoom meetings for all the changes in the initial plans and collaborative decision making by taking ideas and suggestions from every member planning for the date to complete the project for a day to announce and distribute the newsletter as a surprise gift to all our toastmasters and the guests who visit on that function day celebration day it is not enough that you know what to do in completing a project you should also know what specific steps to take to reach your goals so the second point for a successful project is planning with smart goals the full form of smart is specific measurable achievable relevant and time bound we need to complete it on time time bound goals so to have smart goals and planning for it is the second step of a successful project then the third step is executing the plan we functioned as a team with our set work roles and assigned tasks with a common goal we reported our progress from time to time we even faced challenges like some members some chartered members writing articles of 1200 words but in our newsletter we only assigned 100 words of article space for each chartered member it means the 1200 words article should be concised to 100 words do you think it is possible imagine you wrote a thousand words article and gave it to me and i edited it 200 words and got it published will you be happy to see your article like that all the originality of it is lost it means 900 words of your hard work is lost then it will not look like your article it looks like my article and something i wrote and published with your name finally i somehow managed to make it to 600 words without killing its originality much and toastmaster niharika she worked hard managed to fit it in the prescribed space for each member's article in the newsletter while designing and planning for the design and we also faced some challenges like dealing with misunderstandings we had some toastmasters interested in taking the editor role or designer role to be part of the team newsletter team they informed the ec about their interest many many months ago and they later got to know that this work is going by our team and is almost 90% done they got angry then we talked we as a team talked with them convinced them reasons were saying reasons for the members chosen in the existing team apologized for the misunderstanding and offered them to take the role if they were serious about being part of this project we know that all conflicts can be tra traced back to someone's feelings getting hurt if we handle it with if we handle that hurt of a person with respect and care the dispute gets resolved this is a great lesson i learned practically in toastmasters 
and finally we got our newsletter published successfully on time my friends in any project work the challenges are inevitable but what seems to be an obstacle today can become a blessing if dealt properly i have learned this in my toastmasters journey what about your learnings in toastmasters keep sharing thank you back to you